So in this week's review video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. It says it's with Comfort Serum. Uh, it says it's the Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. I have mine in the shade 103 True Ivory. I've been really interested to try this foundation because a lot of the big YouTubers that I watch, even some of the smaller YouTubers that I watch, uh, from all different skin types, from really dry to really oily, all of them that I've seen that have tried this foundation re really liked it. A lot of them said that they really liked the coverage, they really liked how it feel. Uh, most of them did say that it wasn't trans transfer proof, so like, you touch your face, you touch your face to something, it's going to end up on the thing a little bit. But, so I went into this knowing that it wasn't actually transfer proof. If we take a look at the Rimmel website while we're here, it says, Last and finish worth of our foundation is that perfect coverage feels extra comfortable and lasts all day. Blends flawlessly and seamlessly, instantly and easily into the skin. Sweat heat, humidity, and transfer proof for 25 hours. Steps for a radiant, illuminating beauty look. Step one, start by applying a pea-sized amount of Lasting Finish Primer. Ha, huh? that's so funny. Use their primer, of course. Its ultra lightweight formula helps to minimize the appearance of pores and even skin tone while providing endless comfort. Step two, to banish the signs of fatigue, apply Lasting Finish Foundation to your face. Lasting Finish with Match Perfect under your, Match Perfect Concealer under your eyes to cover your dark circles. It's weird to me that it just kind of says, put it on your face. It doesn't really give you any kind of guidance as to use a brush or a sponge or anything. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. This foundation comes in seven shades and they're inarguably all very, very light. Like it is seven different versions of my skin tone, to be honest, all very light with just like different under, it's, it's, it is disgusting. Rimmel, what are you doing? There are more skin tones in the world. If you're gonna have seven shades, like make them really spaced out, go from like, pure white to like the darkest of the dark. Like, come on, Rimmel, come on. And I bought mine at Walmart and it was $9.98 Canadian before taxes. And like I said, I've seen a lot of YouTubers review this and um, most of the YouTubers that I watch are American. There are a couple that are Canadian, but a lot of them are American. And I learned that in America, this doesn't come with a pump or anything. It just comes in a bottle and you have to like pour it out awkwardly. But in Canada, it does come with a pump. Thanks, Rimmel Canada. Every foundation should come with a pump. Now, like I said, because I have seen so many people review this foundation, I had really high hopes for it, and overall, it didn't really live up to them. I mean, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't rebuy it. I definitely have other drugstore foundations that I like better. It felt like no matter what primer I used, I do have the Rimmel Fix and Protect. I have a, a review one on my channel, actually, if you want to see that. But I used that primer, I tried one of the Silicone primers, I tried a hydrating primer, and no matter what, it always kind of felt greasy on my face. I always, maybe it was because it's not transfer proof and it says it's sweat proof, but it just didn't feel like it. Even on the dry areas of my face, it felt like, it felt greasy. And I really felt like it settled into any lines on my face and really accentuated all of my pores. Especially on my forehead, around the sides of my forehead, like and my temple area, I guess, where pores typically aren't really big and really aren't very visible. I felt like they looked really big and re and really visible and I just, it wasn't, it didn't sit on my skin as nicely as I wanted it to. The other claim that this foundation makes that I found to be blatantly untrue is that it's full coverage. I couldn't get full coverage out of it at all. I tried and I would build it up and I would say it's medium at best. I don't know how people are making it full coverage. It felt like no matter what I was doing, even if I layered it and layered it and layered it, it was, it was staying the same. It was still medium coverage. I'll continue to use this bottle while I have it but I'm never gonna buy it again. It just didn't work for my skin. It made my skin not look good and it was greasy feeling. It was overall not a positive foundation wearing experience. And yeah, that's about it for this week's review video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!